Hey guys, it's Sarah back with Grassroots Evolution and this is the healing process um, called Divine Alchemy for the reading um, for the time of the sun's in Aquarius, so Aquarius season. Spirit likes to cut me just before I get into this healing process and it's probably a good thing because I feel like they should be kind of two separate ones anyway. But if uh, you were cut off in meditation back there, sorry we didn't get into it. I am going to do the breathing exercises again. If you're brand new to this one, I um, I invite you to check out the um, reading for Aquarius season. However, it's not necessarily necessary. So the card that we got, and this is from the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Elena Fairchild. There was two cards that came out at the end for healing on how we can... Um, you know, kind of get in touch with our warrior self and trust that. And as well as uh, there was a few messages of grounded intuition as well that came through. And we get to um, Ascended Masters. First off, we get Mary Magdalene and Divine Alchemy with Aquamarine. And this is, I'm being guided to say March um, as well. March is uh, burst on. And then Archangel Raphael, Grace for the Grand Gesture. So what I am going to do is pull in a message from Archangel Michael quickly for the um, Doreen Virtue cards and we get second opinion for anyone who's watching um, this and just uh, extra little message for you guys and increased energy so definitely um, who and we get the bottom of the deck prayer work so I feel like these are three messages just for Archangel Michael, or Michael, but Raphael to come in and just kind of what did he want us to know? Well, first off, God and Archangel Raphael guide me to the best health professionals for the situation, be it mental health, physical health, wherever it is. Know that if you're guided um, to go towards these kind of healing avenues, get a second opinion. If this is kind of on a spiritual level, spiritual healing, look for your teachers, look for your guides, look for the people, right, who can show you the way. And that prayer works here, and absolutely our positive intentions and what we put out into the world works. Um, the healing exercises that I like to do and the breath work, for me, they work wonders, and that's why I feel like bringing them into you, and I'm being called and guided by my guides to do it. But when you can set your positive intentions of love and light and allow that into your work, your world, and... Um, accept it into your hearts and really hold this pure intention prayer works my friends and the last thing is increased energy so as we bring through and kind of remove all of the toxic blocks is what i'm hearing or any break anything apart that has been keeping this part of you shut not able to shine and not able to stand up in your truths and walk forward um as you remove that, you will definitely get increased energy. And Archangel, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. So definitely remembering right now, um, grace for the grand gesture and Malachite may be something that you want to bring into your healing right now and truly know that the energy work that you're doing or whatever self-healing work that you're doing um, at any point, a uh, last card I see at the bottom is call upon Archangel Raphael if you feel um, that you need help with the situation, divine intervention. And as I was bringing this divine alchemy is the card and that's what I want to focus on you knowing that you can bring unconditional love and light to the world and you have such a power to create the love you want to see and create the light you want to see and honor I'm hearing honor your true emotions I switched ring my grandmother gave me this um, beautiful aquamarine well I don't even sure it's aquamarine it's blue I'm gonna go with that ring and I wasn't sure I wanted it and it's like no because now is the time to speak your truth my friend <laughs> whoever this is meant for right take what resonates and disregard the bits that don't but you know it's time to know that you create the reality around you and you have the ability to interact with spirit and interact with your ascended masters angels all you need to do is ask for it and you have to desire this be consciously desiring and asking for it otherwise it's kind of like the vampire thing they can't come into your house if you don't allow it we can't if if we don't allow people to zap our energy they can't do it but if we don't ask for the help, it's kind of hard. Not everybody's going to know that we needed it. Make sense? So I'm going to give you um, 
I'll read just a portion of what this card is about and then we will get into um, the healing process, okay? So it could be time to take your shoes off if you want to pause me and bring a tea in, go get your crystals, whatever it is. Um, but if you have aqua aura quartz, definitely maybe something to bring in or wear blue right now. But we bring you the blessing of divine alchemy. Divine alchemy is the art of transmutation, the application of spiritual consciousness into physical form. So profound that an entirely new form evolves. It is irreversible change. It is the coal transformed into the diamond, the lead of sleep, the lead of sleeping matter. Awakened into the radiant gold of consciousness, successful alchemical transformation requires patience, courage, and transformation affected by divine alchemy. Oh wait, sorry. Patience and courage and a belief in the power of spirit above all else. The radical and permanent transformation affected by divine alchemy may seem miraculous to the outsider viewing the changes as they change form. Yet the alchemist knows that when spiritual consciousness meets physical matter, the world will never be the same again. And guys, the world may never be the same again for you. It won't be like it was yesterday. And that's a good thing. You can take every action, I'm tongue-tied here, but every action, bring it into your conscious awareness and do everything. Breathe, sleep, eat, do your world with intention. And as we set our intentions and follow our paths, love and light is Mary Magdalene, right? This love and peace within your hearts. So let's see. Um, we're going to see what kind of... Um, healing process is in here but if you guys would like to join me we're going to do the breath work three times in before we get going in here so we're going to breathe in love and light and this can come in through your crown you can picture white or even in this case blue light could be time definitely for throat chakra healing as well um, for what blue is for but know that we are protected so I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to guard and bless and protect us while we do this um, to be shielded with divine light and to ask that only love and light enter and be present at this time. We are going to bring in three breaths, so the love and the light in through your crown or through your breath into your heart space, wherever you feel it needs to be working. And as we release this, we're gonna ask the universe to transmute it through our breast space with love and light, as well as to flush out and um, kind of transmute any excess through our feet so we're not walking around all buzzy, okay? We're in perfect alignment. So be open to this, guys. Let's take breath one. Breathing in love and light. Holding it here in your heart or wherever you feel it and release it with love into the world. Anything that is inauthentic. Number two, let's take that deep breath in. Feel it rise from the ground if you do. You are a tree trunk. Bring that power up. Anchor that spirit in. And hold it here at your solar plexus, guys. Hold it a little longer. Imagine it breaking up anything that stops you from honoring your self-confidence. And release that with love. And one more time, guys, breathing in all the love and the light that you feel available to you from the universe. Bring it down and through your crown. Open up and emanate light. Fill your body up with this light. Feel it tingle and let go of anything that is in your energy field that's not here. And guys, one more deep breath, just, and push it out. Okay, I'm going to go ask my children to be quiet for the next little bit, so just bear with me one moment, guys. All right, I'm back. I do apologize, guys, if you hear them in the background. They are home today. We've had a lot of snow days and um, really felt like this message needs to come out. So if you can see past that, I thank you. All right, so let's get in here. We're going to redo um, some repeating after me, okay? Some intentional um, calling upon spirit and affirmations. And 
you can choose to repeat after me. You can also choose to have me use the channel for you. If you do feel the energy coming through this, be open and willing to accept it, okay? And keep your shoes off to allow the energy flow to transmute. As you set your intentions, this is what comes to us. So I'm going to hold this up. Um, so you can just kind of, what does it, what do you feel while I read this little bit? Or actually, no, I'm not going to hold it up. I'll give you a minute to look at it and see what you feel. And then you can repeat after me. I call upon the crystal angel of Aqua Aura Quartz and Ascended Master Mary Magdalene, who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the healing blessing of divine alchemy. May I be gifted with unassailable faith in the complete healing transformation possible with higher consciousness. May that which has become damaged be repaired. May the consciousness that has become diminished be revived into unconditional love. May all divine alchemists that serve unconditional love be empowered, supported, sustained, inspired and motivated in their work until they manifest the divine potential seeking to be liberated through their service through divine will and my own free will so be it so we're going to take this now you don't have the card so you can just take your hands with your energy centers here pointed and just kind of hold it at your heart just a moment guys okay so holding your hand here, since you don't have the uh, the card, or you guys can hold on to a stone, whatever of you're choosing. Really, you can even, as you do this, imagine like the blue light kind of entering into your throat space. And then we're going to say this. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release any doubt or fear of my ability to know and embody higher consciousness. I choose to place unconditional trust in the loving transformational power of consciousness and cultivate my own awareness daily, aligning into unconditional love. May the blessing of divine alchemy restore my physical reality into absolute alignment with divine will and unconditional love. May div all divine alchemists be so empowered that together we can create heaven on earth for all. Through divine grace and unconditional love, so be it. Shake your hand out, guys. You may feel a little bit of energy there. And if you ask the universe to transmute anything um, that was no longer serving you, you can kind of just pull it down. Okay. Pull the energy. Move anything else that's down from that throat. Whoa. Touch it to the floor. Okay. And ask that it transmutes. And if you'd like to engage in the prayer with me, put your hands together in prayer position, guys. And bow your head. You can repeat after me or you can just kind of amen it, right? Um, but may divine alchemy prevail and restore all of creation to its authentic, shining glory according to divine compassion and in service to the great divine plan of love unfolding. So be it. And I want to ask this one one more time. May divine alchemy prevail and restore all of creation to its authentic shining glory according to divine compassion and in service to the great divine plan of love unfolding so be it and the last one is an affirmation that we can say three times you can do it with me now and if you want to later on throughout the day you know have yourself a nice little uh, salt water bath and you could put some lavender in it whatever you need to do kind of detox your soul to integrate this kind of healing and while you do this you could even in your mirror you know, just so that you can really drive it home, say these three times as well. And oh, I'm feeling a lot of heart activation right now. So here's here we go. Through my surrendered service, divine alchemy heals and transforms me and my world. 
Through my surrendered service, divine alchemy heals and transforms me and my world. Through my surrendered service, divine alchemy heals and transforms me and my world. The art of surrender is practicing detachment and removing the attachment to what we think needs to happen and allowing the universe, the divine, to let the plan unfold as it needs to. Honor your creative abilities, guys. Honor your warrior self. What is that warrior self pointing you to? Because our warrior self is going to fight for your authenticity and fight for your truth. And what truth do you have to fight for? What do you want to create? Harness the power of Mary Magdalene. Unconditional love, unconditional peace, and truth within your hearts. And speaking this truth in this heart-centered truth. Focusing on healing the throat chakra. Time to wear blue. I like turquoise as well. But know that one of the messages we got was that prayer works. And the more as a collective that we set into intention and set into motion positive affirmations and thoughts not just for ourselves but as a whole we change the world don't we that's all i got for today guys but love and light beautiful beautiful warriors because you know what we got to stand in this together i don't feel like it's all for one or sorry not all for one it is a, we're all for one right but it's not one of us individually we need to look at ourselves as parts of a whole and you know, as parts of a whole, we heal collectively, but it starts off individually. And as you heal, as you become more authentic, you shine the light for others to do the same. Anyway, bye guys. You take care. And if you're new and you liked this, I apologize how many times I had to pause. But if you would like to join my channel and subscribe and come along this journey with me, I'd be absolutely happy to have you. Bye guys, for real.